I'm Erin, and welcome to Alec Industries Illuminator. I am here to show you just how simple and functionally beneficial our belt trailers are to your operation. Each belt trailer is equipped with a two-line wet kit system. For optimal performance, we recommend a 3,000 PSI pump with a 20 gallon per minute of flow. Oil reservoir capacity can be as low as five gallons with a fan cooled tank or a 20 gallon non-fan cooled tank. Our trailers are equipped with an electric valve system which is located at the rear of the trailer. This system does not require any additional changes to your truck. The additional cord seen here is for the electric tarp. The simple power cord wires directly to your truck battery and is run remotely as well. Each of our trailers has access through the front doors as well as underneath of the side. Underneath, you'll notice the front take-up sprockets. These are where you measure and square up the front sprocket when adjusting the chain. These sprockets are independent. There is no shaft in the front. This allows for some forgiveness, no shaft to twist and break. Underneath the front take-up is our bolt-on fifth wheel. The fifth wheel is a wear point on every single trailer on the road. Why not make them easy to change when needed? The plate is one piece itself. Moving rearward, we'll notice a full-length mud flap in the front, Holland 50,000 pound two-speed dolly legs, manual dump valve. At the center is the belt chain adjustment guide Behind that is our two-strand 88 HD drives chain. Notice the smooth design, which increases aerodynamics and fuel efficiency. Plus, bonus, it's easy to wash. Moving to the suspension, we run 25,000 pound axles, Hendrickson air ride suspension. We also use ABS brakes with centrifuge drums. And this is where the action starts, at the controls. You're able to run the trailer manually or via the remote control with the electric valve. The remote systems are a wonderful advantage to our trailers. They allow an operator to remain in the cab of the truck or another location within range out of the dust and dirt to run each operation of the trailer once the PTO is engaged. This is a great benefit when conditions require or desire this type of operation. I'm from Iowa and being able to unload in adverse weather conditions, high winds, high heat is a wonderful thing. The manual controls are the knife gate up, knife gate down, main gate up, main gate down. The on switch for the floor is this lever right here and this is your speed control for the flow and the speed on your floor. With the illuminator, you have the option to open the main gate without opening the tarp. This allows you to keep your load sealed in outside weather conditions. You can unload free flowing product through the knife gate, such as shelled corn, soybeans, and granular fertilizer. You can regulate the speed of the belt with the flow control valve. This enables you to slow down the belt to accommodate a smaller receiving auger or pit. If you're not metering a load, you'll open the knife gate, then open the main gate. Notice the clearance above the top of the trailer. The main gate is above the top of the trailer by 20 inches. This allows for uninhibited unloading of product. It is also safer than a side swing door as the wind cannot grab the door and slam it back shut. The door must be dropped hydraulically. If we look inside the trailer, it is easy to see the fully lined tub. The floor is fully lined as well. We use a 3 16 HMW liner on the walls and a 3 8 inch thick UHMW on the floor. Once the doors are open, you simply turn on the belt and unload. Depending on the product and flow of the wet kit system, unload times can be as low as three minutes. Once you're unloaded, simply reverse the order. Belt off, main gate closed, knife gate closed, and you're ready to head on for the next load. Thank you for visiting us today. We look forward to helping you with your belt trailer needs very soon.